hey guys welcome back to my channel today <clears throat> so in today's video i'm going to be doing something different um and i'm so close to the camera because i can't focus about myself and the lens is making noise so i have to be close to the camera so i can be able to focus about myself you know so i can be able to focus the lens by myself this is so oily okay guys don't mind my makeup my makeup is not looking so nice i just i wasn't in the mood to do makeup anyways um i decided to make this video because you know i've just been thinking and i want to know if this is just me or <laughs> maybe there's someone else out there i don't know but but the question is am i weird like what i've noticed is that i whenever i'm going through instagram or facebook yeah instagram or facebook no not facebook whenever i'm going through instagram or youtube i notice that um whenever i see a youtuber that is like younger than me maybe like 18 years old or 17 or 16 for the matter or like having 60,000 subscribers um being so good at makeup you know like just successful in general and i'm just like please what am i doing with my life what, what am i doing with my life like that's the question i ask myself every freaking time and i get so sad like i'm telling you guys i get so sad that i just i just probably eat, i probably eat something or come and make youtube videos that's what i do most of the time like after after thinking about what i've been doing with my life and everything i come and make youtube videos you know just do something to just make me stop thinking about it and I'm just like, wait, am I the only one that actually feels this way? Like, are there other people out there that actually feel like, um, that feel like they are not, like, they feel unaccomplished, basically, like, they just feel like, no, other people that actually feel like they are not, they are not where they're meant to be in their life at the moment, you know? Like, when you see other people successful, they get sad, which is not a good thing, by the way. <laughs> It's not it's not good to be to envy other people's success you know you're supposed to be happy for them i'm happy for them it's not like i'm not happy for them but then i'm not happy for myself you know i don't feel so happy for myself so i was like okay i'm going to make this video and i don't know if anyone else out there is feeling this way so i'm going to make this video and talk to you guys whoever is feeling this way <laughs> And I thought I was just gonna share some tips of how you can feel better or you know how you can actually accomplish what you want to accomplish so first and foremost like my first and the most important tip is to pray to God I know like some people are probably not religious but I'm not <laughs> I'm, I'm from a religious home and I'm very very religious I'm telling you guys so uh, so you you have to pray when you're not feeling accomplished you have to pray when you're not feeling accomplished mm. you know when you're not feeling accomplished just pray in general you know you have to pray to God pray to God tell him what you are feeling tell him what you want you know just talk to God like you would talk to a friend or something without using it, the curse words but just to, just talk to God, you know. Tell him um, what you are feeling. Just tell him what you want to happen in your life. Talk to God. Then secondly, talk to your parents. I know, like I don't know, like parents they have like this this magical whatever. <laughs> I don't know, like you talk to them and you feel so much better immediately. Like I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it <laughs> when you talk to them they like they're just so knowledgeable and you can just go to your parents talk to your parents and um they'll help you out you know they'll give you advice they'll they'll talk to you they'll tell you things that they think they can help you because they've experienced god knows how many things in their lives you know so go okay go <laughs> talk to your parents my third tip is to um, talk to a friend you know talk to a friend and when I say talk to a friend I mean someone you can actually trust 
you know like there are some people that you tell you tell them something and they just go and start broadcasting it to the whole world no 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 not those kind of people you know no talk to somebody that you know that no matter what you tell them they are not going to tell anybody and they will actually like help you you know some people just tell them stuff and they're just like useless they, they don't know what to do so talk to somebody that you know you can trust tell them what you're feeling tell them what you're going through and stuff like that my fifth tip i don't know where i am well i think fifth fourth talk to god talk to your parent um talk to yeah my fourth tr um tip is to have a diary <laughs> i know no, not everyone likes writing in a diary they just some people just feel it's weird but trust me <laughs> there are just some things that you cannot tell your friend about you can't tell your your parents about like you write it in your diary nobody's gonna see it apart from people that is spoken us but you know nobody's going to see it write in your diary you're probably like oh, okay so what should i write in my diary first and foremost you write what you want to um, achieve where you think you should be like what you want to do apart from school school is a concept that you just have to do like <laughs> school is just no I'm not talking about school I'm not talking about school like you can see me going to school and also, and also be doing other things you know so um think about what you want to do think about um what you think you should have achieved at that point in your life you know um and then make tip notes or make um i don't know how to put it just write like steps to how you can achieve this goal so like make steps to or write that write down steps to do how you think you can achieve these goals and then think about what you're going to do when you get the goal when you achieve the goal you know when you think about what you do when you achieve your goals so let me just give you an example of what i'm talking about for example, if you want to become a medical doctor now, you know you have to go to school, you know you have to go for classes, you know you have to do a um, an undergraduate, you know you have to do an undergraduate degree or a pre-med program or whatever, you know you have to do biology, you know you have to do chemistry, maybe, chem not a lot of chemistry, you have to have an underlying knowledge of of in chemistry you um have to do cap you have to know how to do math 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 calculus really you have to do calculus you have to do physics physics part is not so necessary but you have to do it for to write cat so you have to know physics you have to know psychology you have to do psychology so so you know those are the things you have to do so your goal is to become a doctor so that's number one number two is steps to which you can achieve this goal so take biology take chemistry take physics take psychology then study <laughs> study for the MCAT so you study for the MCAT then you write the test maybe your third year or your fourth year whichever way you want to do it right you write the exam and also while um thinking about that like you want to make sure that your undergraduate program and all the courses you're meant to take are complete so you have to make sure that you are in, in line with what you're meant to be doing so if you're in your third year you have to make sure that you you are done with your first year courses first year courses you're done with your second year courses and you are doing your third year courses and you know you have to complete your third year courses in your third year of university and then your first year of university you will do your fourth year courses so you'll be able to graduate with your complete credit you know and i'm sorry i'm kind of whispering because it's like wait sorry it's like 11 25 p.m and i just wanted to make this video like i just had to make this video because i've been thinking about it and it has just been bothering me okay now i'm going to continue to what i was saying you hey, this is like the important part so in the steps part you want to make sure that you um in the steps section you want to make sure that uh, you apply to universities that will actually accept your grades so don't be getting bad grades and accept to accept uh, apply to universities that are like that only accept students with a a 
plus or first class or second class students don't be getting like and you you'll be getting like D and stuff like that and then you'll be applying to schools like that you are setting yourself up for failure you are going to fail you are not going to get into med school i'm telling you so you have to apply to schools or you do all in school whatever you apply to schools that you know that you are going to get into so you don't want to be you don't want to be you don't want to be scared like if you're no longer a child when you are graduating from your pre your pre-med program you don't want to have any doubt that you're going to get into med school i know sometimes even if you are the best student sometimes things just don't work out but then you have to have like a backup backup yeah you have to like a like a backup and um, this thing option you know like you have to make sure you have like a backup option if one doesn't work out you have to make sure the other one must work out you know you have to think about that so you um apply to schools that you know will take your courses and you know you have all of the prerequisites go to the school's website don't just look for like general how to get into med school no go to the school that you actually want to go to make sure that they are set they are going to accept your grade your grade is going to be okay for the school and make sure that everything is going as planned basically so when you get to med school then you can start working harder to become a doctor so that's the for med school example another example is being a makeup artist so this one is just like something that you do on the side apart from school or well, if you're a graduate then good for you but then being a makeup artist you don't have money to go to makeup makeup school what do you do hmm? we have youtube we have instagram we have facebook like some people they are posting makeup videos on, on youtube instagram facebook go to and watch i don't even know watch all of the youtube videos that you can find you know watch everything then after watching the youtube videos go and invest in makeup invest 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 in makeup you know buy all these basic 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 stuff don't go and buy something that is too expensive buy all this basic stuff that you know you can use to learn then when you are good you can go and start buying things that are expensive makeup that are expensive but you know invest in things that you know after that do makeup practice 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 i was let me tell you i i actually um had like makeup classes at some point in my life but then i wasn't really i just didn't have the chance to actually do the makeup so i just left it and then i came to canada and i picked it up again and i started doing it that's why i'm here right now thank you thank but <laughs> so um i don't know what i'm saying what was i saying okay but um in the, what was i saying practice you know work on your friends work on yourself sit in front of a mirror just practice you know the thing the thing that actually annoys me is when I see people that they can't even fill in their brows properly they can't blend their concealer properly they cannot blend their eyeshadow properly calling themselves makeup artists I know you want to feel good about yourself you want to feel like you know how to do something but then don't do it don't even try it. Don't, 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 um, do nonsense makeup and then start calling yourself makeup artist. Start um, posting pictures. You can take pictures on your phone. Then compare that picture to other people's pictures, other professionals, other people that are actually makeup artists. Compare your pictures to theirs, to theirs, theirs, whatever, to theirs. And if you see, I'm not nice whispering. I have to whisper because it's night. <laughs> and if you see that, um, your makeup is not even anywhere close or you see something that is wrong with your makeup like for example you did blend your concealer and the person that you're looking at blended their concealer like seamlessly you go back <laughs> clean the nonsense makeup you have on your face and you do that makeup you know like do it again no one is going to who is complaining hmm? you, you know what you want you know what you want to become you want to become a makeup artist then you have to work for it you know you have to work for it so go back do the makeup again nobody's going to judge you just don't post ugly pictures on instagram and call yourself makeup artist that, that i want i want that i want accept mm -mm. <laughs> i want accept that so go back to your house or whatever sit in front of the mirror and practice the makeup again if you think 
there's something you're not getting right or you think there's something you want to learn if you notice you youtubers always say comment below what you guys want to see next they are there for you they are there to help you they make videos so you can help other people that can't actually you know that are not as good as them or whatever or maybe people that are good guys so i'm to watch uh, what am i saying going off off topic <laughs> you know go comment i don't know why people don't comment comment and tell them don't and i hate it when people that some people they don't even know how to do anything and then they come and start commenting other people's other other on people's videos where like on what so some people don't even know how to do anything then they come and start writing hate comments on other people's videos that oh you didn't do this oh you didn't do that please what can you even do you know don't come and be judging people no that that's not what youtube is for youtube is not for you to come it's not there for you to criticize people it's there for you to learn from them learn what they are teaching you and make good use of it don't come and be commenting and says that something 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 and then you go and be doing nonsense makeup even after watching their video but then you are watching their video just to insult them or i don't even know so comment and tell them please can you do this please um, I tried it. I tried to do my makeup and this, this, this didn't happen. Please, what do you think I should do? You know, just tell them they are going to see. They are going to do. They are going to comment to reply you and tell you what to do. Give you advice. Tell you the best thing to do. So yeah, you want to become a makeup artist? That's what you have to do. So watch the videos, practice, comment if you have to, and invest in makeup or on makeup. So yeah, that's that for the So that's that's an example that I've given you guys. Um, what else? If you are having any challenges, just write it down in your diary. Write it down in your diary. Write the reason why you, why you're having these challenges. Just write it down. Write it down. Write them down. Whatever. And then think about what you think you should do, or who you think you should talk to, to help you with these challenges. You know. Just think about what you can do, what your challenges, and then like I think the last part. I don't know if there's any other thing that I haven't said, but the last part that I want to talk about is um oh baby no don't go off on me now. Okay, so my light went off. We are going to quickly finish up this video. The last part I want to talk about now is um. Oh, my lighting is bad. Okay, guys, don't mind my lighting. Okay, the last part I want to talk about is um. Oh, what do I want to talk about? Is if there's a quote that I think you that you think maybe is kind of related to your life or whatever is going on in your life, write it down on a sticky note or a piece of paper and put it beside your bed or tape it tape it to the wall. To beside your bed, really to the wall, beside your bed, and. Put it where you see, where you know that when you wake up in the morning, you will see it there. That will be the first thing you see. So wake when you wake up in the morning, you read the quote and be like, mm, cool. So I know sometimes even after following all these steps, it can it's, it can you can still feel like nothing is working out. Like you just want to give up. Like I'm tired. I've done everything I'm meant to do. What is going on? Why is nothing working out for me? Pray again. Just pray again to God. Maybe God wants you to do something else, you know. Just pray to God. Read those quotes. Pray. Oh, my stomach is making this. <laughs> pray to God. Read read those quotes. And, um, just be willing to learn from other people. Be willing to, be willing to learn from other people. And, yeah that's basically all for this video i don't know if there's anything else that i want to say and i remember later i'm going to leave in the description box below so you guys can check it out you guys should check out the description box and i don't think anyone checks my blog so i'll probably stop posting anything on my blog but my blog is kind of my portfolio so i have to post on my blog anyways <laughs> I hope I was able to help somebody. I'm sorry for getting so um, sensitive because when I when I talk about things like this, I get really sensitive, and I just 
I just take it so serious. I take things serious a lot, and I'm sorry about that. But I just hope I was able to. I was able to help somebody. And if you guys have any comments, if you guys are feeling down, if you guys are feeling sad, or you you just have like this kind of problem, I'm here for you. I like advising people. <laughs> I don't know. I like advising people. I just, I'm just gonna, I'm going to talk to you guys. Trust me. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of almost always with my laptop most of the time. So you guys should please subscribe if you want. If you like videos like this, make sure you like the video so I can know that you guys like videos like this and then I can be posting more videos like this. And I have a lot to give to the world and I have, you know, I don't know, I just believe I I have something to give to the world, to offer to the world. It's not just about makeup sometimes, you don't want to watch makeup videos sometimes, you just want to feel inspired, you just want to feel more motivated, you just want someone that you can connect with. You guys, let me tell you, you can always connect with me. I hope that doesn't sound weird. Anyways, <laughs> you can always talk to me. Just leave a comment and if you think you can leave a comment, my email address is down somewhere. You can go you can go to my blog and find my email address. You can send me like a personal email and I'm going to reply you immediately self because my email is always available always like on on my phone so I'm going to reply immediately I get the email. So leave like your if you don't want if it's something personal that you don't want other people to read. They just send me an email and if it's something that you don't mind other people saying they just comment below and other if other people too can help they are going to comment and help you whatever way they can so i'm really excited to be doing videos like this thank you guys so much for watching and i love you i love you guys i'm telling you i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video and comment below what you, what you guys want to see next. Bye.